somebody say praise the Lord. It's time to get our worship service together. It's another day journey, and I'm so glad. It's another day journey, and I'm so glad. It's another day journey, and I'm so glad. That the world can't do me no. Well, it's another day journey, and I'm so it's another day journey, and I'm It's another day journey, and I'm That the world Well, it's another day journey, and I'm It's another day journey, and I'm It's another day Sister Betty Wright. Then we'll have praise and worship by First Lady Lewis. And then we will have a welcome by Brother Earl Wright and First Lady will come back. Then we'll have the introduction of our speaker by our Sister Missionary Lisa Greenwood. Then we'll have a selection or a song by Philadelphia Church. Representative then will be in the hands of our speaker. Uh, Samson Greenwood, we thank God for Elder Greenwood and his church. Great to look at somebody and somebody and say, We're so glad you're here.
the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. I've read to you Numbers uh, 10, 6, and 7. going to come from John, the 15th chapter, and I will be reading the 13th to the 15th verses. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knows not what his Lord does, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father. I have made known unto you. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and put your hands together and praise him. We serve a good and great God. We serve an awesome God. We just want to praise God. We honor him on today. Hallelujah. We love him. He's such a good God. Hallelujah. He's such a great God. We praise you, oh God. We're going to go into our service and just worship God. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him oh we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship Worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Christ the Lord. Oh, we have come, we have come into gather in His name to worship Him. We have come into this house. Gather in his name to worship him. Oh, we have come into this house. Gather in his name to worship Christ. Christ the Lord, worship him. Christ the Lord, Christ the Lord. Get about yourself. Concentrate on him and worship him. So forget about yourself. Put your mind on the Lord and worship him. So forget about yourself. Concentrate on his name and worship him so we lift up our holy hands magnify his name and worship him so we lift up holy hands magnify his name and worship him Christ the 
Forget about yourself. Concentrate on the Lord and worship Him. So forget about yourself. Concentrate on the Lord and worship Him. Oh, worship Him. in this place. Lord, we just come to worship you. God, we welcome you in. Come on in, Lord. Hey, come on in, Jesus. Oh, God, we honor you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We just want to give you blessings and glory. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Just wanna praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. Oh, blessings and glory and all. Blessings and glory and honor say that it all belong to you, yes. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just want to thank you for For all you've done For every little bitty thing Lord, you've done for me Blessings and glory and honor. Say that it all belongs. Hey! Just wanna lift my hands. Blessings and glory and honor. Say that it all belongs. Oh yes. Just wanna lift my hands yeah. and honor. Say that it all belongs. Jesus for blessing me, yeah. 
on and bless him. Yeah. Come on and bless the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. We just want to praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and put those hands together. We honor you, oh God. Yeah. We bless your name, Jesus. We love you, God. We honor you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. Now in the hands of Brother Earl. Hallelujah. We praise you. Good afternoon, everyone. We are so blessed to have you all to come and be with us today in our men and women program. And the men and women of Greater St. Matthew's Church, we welcome you once and we welcome you twice. And we welcome you in our son Jesus' name's Christ's name. We hope that you all feel welcome, but in order to be welcome, how about we stand and just welcome ourselves? We're going to accept that welcome. Hallelujah. So let's just praise him. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. You should feel welcome. You should always feel welcome in the, hand, in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We honor you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. You're such a good God. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on, let's just worship him for a few minutes. We love you, God. We love you, God. We honor you, God. We love you, Lord. Oh, we praise you. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, we worship. We praise you, we praise you, we honor you, God. We love you, you're such a good God. How many know that trouble don't last always? I don't care what you're going through, trouble don't last always. Hallelujah, we serve a God that answers all of our troubles. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. I know you all know this little song. We're going to go back a little old school. Amen. How many know trouble don't last always? Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Trouble don't last always. Can I get a witness? Hey, 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 hey. Trouble don't last always. Oh, cause I'm so glad. Hey, hey, hey. Trouble don't last always. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yes, I am. Trouble don't last always. Oh, listen, it may not come when you want him, but he's on time. In times of trouble, I found him to be a friend of mine. No, he'll be there. Oh, all of your burdens, I know the Lord, He will help you, help you to bear. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 trouble don't last always. Listen, turn your 
turn to your neighbor and say, it may not come when you want him. Oh, oh, but he's on time. Yes, he is. When storm clouds rise in your life, I know that he'll be there. In times of trouble, I found him to be a friend of mine. Take only your burdens to the Lord, and you just do what and leave them there. He'll help you to bear, yeah. But don't last away. I'm a living witness, trouble. I don't care what it looks like, trouble don't last away. Oh, we be there, yes, it will. Endure for a night. Keep the faith, it's gonna be alright. Your hands together. How many know trouble don't last no way? Hallelujah. Now this is where we're gonna break it up. I need your participation. How many sopranos do we have in the building? Do we have any sopranos? Come on, sopranos. I need to hear you. Trouble don't last no ways. No, no. Okay, that's good, Sopranos. Y'all let them know y'all in the building. Come on and put your hands together. All right, do we have any altos in the building? Hallelujah. Okay, altos, you ready? We're going to show them what you got. Trouble don't last. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it won't last always. No, 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 no. It won't last. It won't last always. No. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. See, Sopranos, Altos tried to outdo y'all. But how many tenors we got in the building? How many men we got in the building? Okay, come on, men, show them what you got. Trouble don't last always. Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe they, they telling you, trouble don't showed you just who they are but you know what we're gonna put it all together because when we go to heaven everybody gonna be singing together amen so we're gonna put it all together here we go trouble don't last yeah 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 y'all sound just like a heavenly choir trouble don't last no 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 it don't last God, trouble don't last always. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't care what you're going through. 
Trouble don't last always. Hey, trouble don't last always. Trouble got to get their bags and go. They not gonna last always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, look at your neighbor and just tell them these words. Say, it ain't gonna matter. It, it, it don't last always. It don't matter because it's not gonna last always. I don't care what you're going through. Look at them again and say, it don't matter because it don't last always. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah. Cause it's going to turn around in my favor. How many believe that? How many believe that? Listen, my favorite part of this song is the latter part. Because I believe that sooner or later, things are going to turn in your favor. Amen. How many believe that sooner or later? I actually say it sooner than later. Listen, so I just want you to tell your neighbors, say, sooner than later, it's going to turn in my favor. Oh, Lord, sooner than later, it's going to turn in my favor. More sooner than later, it's gonna turn in my favor. You know why? Cause he's turning it around for me. Cause it won't always be like this. God will perfect that concerning little old me oh sooner than later it's gonna turn in my favor oh sooner than later it's gonna turn in my favor oh it's turning around for me Look at your neighbor and just take your hands and just do the turning symbol. Cause it won't always be like this. You may be crying right now, but just hold on. Cause God will perfect that concerning me. Oh, sooner than later. Gonna turn in my favor. Put your hands on your chest and say, Sooner, sooner than later, it's gonna turn in my favor. Sooner than later, sooner than later, gonna turn in my favor. Oh, he's turning it around for me. It's turning around, turning around for me. Turning around for me. I want you to believe that, get it in your spirit. Turning around for me. Oh, turning around for little old me. Oh, he loves me enough to turn. have gotten a bad report at the doctor's office but I want you to just lift your hand and say it's turning around I don't care what the doctor said because the last time I checked my Bible he said that I am the God that healeth thee so I don't care what report you got at the doctor's office I don't care what the doctor said we appreciate doctors so they tell us what we need to pray for but I'm a living witness that God will turn that thing around hallelujah so if you need a healing in your body, just say, God, turn it around. Turn it around for me, yeah. He's turning it around for me, yes. Oh, he's turning it around for me. Listen, turning around for me. Turning around for me. Oh, turning around for me. 
Oh, turning around for me. I see a tornado and that's he's turning things around. I don't know what you're going through in this building. I don't know what issues you have, but that tornado is showing me he's turning it around because it's spinning and he's turning it around for you in your favor. I don't care what it looks like. Put your hand on yourself and say, he's already done it for me. He's already done it for me, hallelujah. He's already turned it around. It's already been fixed, hallelujah. It's already been worked out. It's already been decided, because he's turning it around for me. Hey, he's turning it around for me, yes. Oh, he's turning around for me, yes. He's turning it around for me. We all excited because he's not done with me yet. How many know he's not done with you? He's not done with me yet. Because there's so much more to my story. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. He's not done blessing you. He's not done with me yet. Because there's so much more to my story. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. Oh, he's not done with me yet. Because though there's so much more to my story. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with you, sweetheart. He's not done with you yet. Oh, because there's so much more to your story. He's not done with you yet. yet. He's not done with you yet. No, hey. He's not done with you yet. much more to your story he's not done with you yet listen they may have written you off they may have said all type of things about you but listen to what I'm saying he's not done with you yet no he's not done with you yet no 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 cause I haven't seen no Years have not heard all of the good things God has in store for you. Hey, he's got some things in store for you. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, he's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. Cause there's so much more to my story listen when they told my mom and my dad that I wouldn't make it I had a 50-50% chance of living and if I lived I would be a vegetable wouldn't be able to do anything for myself wouldn't be able to walk wouldn't be able to talk my face would be drooping and my mom and dad decided, they said, we hear you, but we gonna trust God. Every time I walk, I'm a living miracle. God healed in that hospital that day. God delivered, God set free. And I can tell you, if he can do it for me, he's not respect a person, he'll do it for you. I graduated top of my class with honors. And instead of talking, God gave me a gift to sing. So I don't care what it looks like. God is not through with you yet. Hallelujah. This is not the end of your story. He's not done with you yet. They may write you off. They may say that you're not going to be anything. But I serve a God that looks high, that sits high and looks low. Because he's not done you yet no 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 he's not done with you yet 
Turn to your neighbor and say, he's not done with you yet. Don't throw in the towel because he's not done with you yet. It may not look good, but he's not done with you yet. He's not done with you yet. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We love you, Lord. We honor you. We appreciate you, God. You're such a good God. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. God is such a good God. Hallelujah. So when you see me praising God, I got a reason. When you see me giving God glory, I've got a reason. Because there was so much more to my story. Because he was not done with me yet. Hallelujah. We thank God turning it into the hands of the first lady to present our speaker. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. Praise. Hallelujah. And I tell you, thank you. Truly, I love the Lord today, and I am so grateful to stand right here and almost a little nervous after Sister Sharp. I tell you, she, she's a <laughs> songster, and she knows I can just listen to her worship and praise God. Amen. Whenever we come into this place, I'm looking to hear from her because I know the Lord is going to use her to minister in song. Amen. Amen. It's something about a true worshiper. Amen. Amen. And you connect with that worshiper. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad uh, to be here. Truly, we honor the Lord for being here. We honor the man of the house, Pastor. Amen. Larry Lewis, Jr. Amen. Let's say amen for him. He invited us into this house, and I'm so grateful to God for him and Lady Sharva. I thank God for you. Thank God you always minister to my spirit. Amen. So glad, amen, for Philadelphia Church of God in Christ being here on today. Amen. 300 South Walnut Street, Canton, Mississippi. Hallelujah. Amen. And our pastor is the elder, Samson Ray Greenwood. Amen. 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 I'm so grateful to God for um, you all allowing us to be here. I was trying to um, get this down to my phone, and I realized my Wi-Fi thing was a little off. But you know what? I can introduce him because I know him. <laughs> Amen. I know him. Amen. Uh, been knowing him for over 43 years now. Amen. Since 1980. 43 years, Elder Lewis. Amen. And I, I'm so grateful to God for him. Truly, he is um, the father of three sons. Amen. About 16 grandkids and counting. <laughs> Amen. We're thanking God. He's the pastor of the Philadelphia Church of God in Christ. Amen. He's a man of God who loved God. He loved God and he loved God's people. He has two forms of work that he loves to do, and that's working on a building and working spiritually so. Amen? So spiritually and naturally so, he's a builder. Amen. For the Lord. I thank God for him, and as we've always said, he tells us, he said, that you follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. And I'm so grateful to God that I can follow this man of God as he's following Christ. And I have let him know, Elder Jefferson, you don't follow the Lord now. Don't expect me to follow you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you don't follow God, don't expect me to follow you. Praise God. Because I love the Lord with all of my heart, with all of my soul. And I realize that my soul is the most important thing that I have. Amen. It's going to take me from here to glory. Praise God. He's also the son of the late Pastor Roosevelt Greenwood Sr. and Mother Quinzola Greenwood. Amen. He graduated from Canton High School, and afterwards he joined the military, served in the military some 14 years, 8 months, and 24 days, 25 days. Amen. And um, he's a retired U.S. Postal Service man as well. Amen. A disabled veteran praise God, but we know that he's able to do what God has called him to do. Amen. Amen. 
He's a graduate. He has his uh, bachelor's of theology and master's of theology from, amen, uh, uh, the, the New Foundation Theological Seminary there in Terry, Mississippi. Amen. I'm so grateful to say that he's my husband. I'm so grateful to say that I, amen, that I can worship the Lord with him, amen, as we go through this journey, amen, called life, amen. And after the choir has come, or do you want to come up and introduce them? After the choir has come, I ask that you will receive this man of God, amen, have a listening ear, amen, and be attentive to what God has to say. Now, he believes in y'all praising God, so don't sit on him, okay? Amen, amen, amen. Let's say amen for the Field of Church of God in Christ choir. Amen. Let's say amen for them. They're coming.
This time and this day that the Lord has allowed us to come together one more time. Hallelujah. If you would bow your heads with me. Amen. As we go before the throne of grace on this morning. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be in the amongst the land of the living. There are those that went to sleep last night and they slept the sleep of death. But God has been good to us. Just lift your hands to a mighty God. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. How many of you have anything to be thankful for on today? Hallelujah. I was listening to the praise conductor and she was letting us know that weeping may endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning. Weeping may, but joy will. Hallelujah. Joy is going to come in the morning. All you've got to do is hold on. Don't give up. Don't let go. Just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Our Father in heaven, we come before you once again. We are honored, Lord, that you've allowed us to come before your presence one more time. God, I just want to thank you. Thank you that you didn't allow Satan to do with us what he would have done. Lord, what things that he thought about doing, you blocked it. Thank you, God, for how you've watched over us. Thank you for this gathering, this time of gathering here today. Lord, I pray that you give us our daily bread that you've given us on today. Lord, give us an ear, a mind, and a heart to receive what you have prepared for us today. Lord God, I pray, God, that you give me the words to say in the name of Jesus. Allow your words to penetrate the hearts. Break up the fallow grounds in the name of Jesus. Let your word flow through me, God, with clarity. I pray, Lord, that you give from heaven, which no education can give, what no books can reveal, and let us leave this place, God, better than we came. Lord God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for being God. I thank you, God, for being a healer. I thank you for being a provider. Lord, we know you as a healer. You're Jehovah Rapha. You're the God that healeth. And God, we stand on your promises of healing. Hey, glory. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Father God, as I stand before your people on today, your thoughts my mind, your words my mouth. Use me, Lord, as a willing vessel. I'll be so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory that you and you alone so richly deserve. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, for in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and at his right hand pleasures forevermore don't know about you but I'm striving for that pleasure forevermore tell the people there that I don't want to spend a place where it's uncomfortable hell is too hot and eternity is too long 
And I can't be in eternity uncomfortable. And I told the people even this morning, there's no Kool-Aid, there's no Gatorade. There's no lemonade or iced tea. Inhale. But I want to be where the sun never goes down. I want to be where I can just praise God all the time. I can praise him from sun up to sun up. Hallelujah. God tell you, God is an awesome God. And I, 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 it's not my intent to be before you long. But when I think, hey, glory, of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, not just my soul, but my hands get happy. My feet get happy. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Thank God for blessing me. Thank God for healing me. Thank God he didn't have to do it, but he did. Hallelujah. I think back in the months of October and November, just those two months there, within those two months, I was put to sleep three times. Different procedures that was being done. Then we came to the month of February. February the 15th, they put me to sleep again. I said, Lord, look, you're going to have to put me to sleep and wake me up. I can't depend on man. I can't depend on what they, because they might do something wrong. They might let me sleep too long. And then they came back on the 22nd of February and had to put me to sleep again. But look at me now. Hey, go, go. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The songwriter says that, that, that an awesome God deserves an awesome praise. An incredible God deserves an incredible praise. Anybody got an incredible praise? Anybody got an incredible praise? Anybody got an awesome praise that give God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I feel kind of churchy right now. Have you tried Jesus? 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 Hey, go. Have you tried it for a doctor to? Hey, go.
Thank God, amen, for our pastor here, Elder Lewis Jr. Amen. God bless you. Amen, Pastor Lewis. And to the first lady of this flock, God bless you, mother. I tell you, when he married her, he just married an, a voice of an angel. I tell you, I enjoy hearing her sing. And somebody said that she can just bellow out the words. Just let it flow, you know. And I thank God, amen, for her. And I tell you, don't ever lose what God has given you. Amen. Never give up on that because God is an awesome God. And he's given you something that can help others. Amen. I thank God, amen, for the invitation to come and share with you on today. Amen. I thank God for my only living aunt on my father's side. Amen. Amen. Evangelist missionary Savannah Fleming. Amen. I tell you, she drove here by herself. I told her I'd drive for her, but she said, no, I got it. Amen. She talks about her age, so I know she don't mind me saying that she's 83. Yeah, 82. In two weeks, she'll be 84. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. I thank God for her. She's, she's a worker in the vineyard. Amen. She goes to the schools and pray. She walks the halls and pray at the schools. Amen. I thank God for her. She's a wonderful woman of God. Amen. Within her own rights. Amen. I thank God for her. Thank God for those that came along with me from the Philadelphia Church of God in Christ. Thank God for you all coming with me. I, I told them I don't want to be there looking like a man just taking a walk. I wanted to know somebody was following me. Amen. I thank God for you all. Thank God for my deacon uh, Thomas. Deacon Andrew Thomas is here with us. Amen. And the mission, the musicians. Amen. Elder Gray on the keyboard. There, God bless you. And, and my grandson, my oldest grandson on the drum there. Amen. My wife mentioned about our grandchildren. She failed to mention about the great grandchildren. God has been good to us. <laughs> Amen. Man, we thank God. Amen for them. I'm not going to be before you very long, so if you didn't get your shout in, it's shame on you. Amen. I thank God. Amen for my wife. Amen. Amen. September the 14th will be 44 years that we have been together. God bless me to find my good thing way out in the country out there. Amen. And I thank God for her. Amen. She's been good to me. She took a house and made it into a home. And she took what little I had and made it much. And that's why I like whatever you put little in God's hand, he can make it much. And I thank God for what he has done. Amen. While I'm talking, Jeremiah. 28 and 11. My pastor told me, he said, I'm not giving you a subject or a theme. He said, just go as the Lord leads. And so, if you will, just indulge me for a few moments. I'm going to go as the Lord leads. Amen. Jeremiah, 29th chapter. And beginning at the 11th verse, if you would, in respect to the word of God, rest on your feet. Amen. Just that one verse, 
for I know the plans I have towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You may be seated. Amen. I thank God, amen, too, for our longtime friend, Elder Jefferson. Amen. Elder Jefferson and, and my father, amen, went way back. And uh, he's, he hadn't stopped being my friend. <laughs> amen. He, he's one you're going to know he's in the building. Amen. And I thank God for him. Amen. Thank God for my kinfolk sitting on the front seat here. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. For I know the plan that I have towards you. For a short subject on today, I have a plan. I have a plan. God is saying that I know what I'm doing. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fret, think about it twice. I'm God. I'm sovereign. I'm just. I'm honest. I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not to abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hoped for. God's plan is another way of saying God's will for you. There is God's ultimate plan in all that all will be saved and for all people, he's got a plan, and there's a specific plan that he has for some. God's will includes his desire to have all people come to know him through his son, Jesus. When God said, I know the plan that I have for you, he was letting us know that faith, in him would be rewarded. Faith in him would be rewarded. He wasn't saying that he'd swoop down and make everything easy for us. But even through things that might not be pleasing or, or, or easy going. Even though it might seem rough right now. It might be hard now. But. We must have faith. We've got to hang on to our faith. The Lord is omnipresent. He's an omnipotent being. So we've got to trust the process. It's a little warm in here if y'all don't mind. It's not that I'm going to hoop and holler and run, but it's just a little warm for me. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthews 22 and 14, it lets us know that for many are called, but few are chosen. I've got a plan. Trust the process. Everyone is called, but out of the many that are called, only a select few are chosen for a specific task. You have uh, all kinds of callings. Just to name a few, you've got leaders, you've got encouragers, you've got influencers, you've got tricksters. Somebody say, can that be a calling? You fall into the right hands, you'll find out. Influencer. Eve was the first woman created by God to be a companion and a helper to Adam. Yeah. Everything was perfect in the Garden of Eden, but when she believed the lies of Satan and was able to influence Adam to eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good 
and evil, breaking God's command, the consequences is what we look at and feel today, the fall of man. Because of that, we're born in sin. Hallelujah. Jezebel was born to be a troublemaker. Jezebel was another influencer, but in the wrong way. The church of Thyatira showed commendable virtues, but it allowed an evil woman to influence them into immoralities and idolatry. Thought about being influenced by an evil woman. It's one thing to be influenced by a woman. Woman, y'all got a lot of power. Lydia, Lydia, L-Y-D-I-A, Lydia, thank you, Lord, that's a help me, Lydia, she was an entrepreneur, a seller of purple, also from the same city, Fire Tower, Rebecca, Helped in deceiving her husband through her son, Jacob. Yeah. Hannah, a praying woman. She prayed so until the priest thought she was drunk. Sarah received an extraordinary honor becoming the mother of many nations. Other women who were chosen to be mothers of great men, Moses' mother, Johannesbeam, Rebecca, the mother of Joseph, Sarah, the mother of Isaac, Hannah, the mother of Samuel, Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, Elizabeth, the mother of of John the Baptist and Mary mother of Jesus just to name a few and some of the men that were chosen if you just bear with me a little while I get there some of the men that were chosen Joshua was chosen as Moses successor to lead the children of Israel to the land of promise David a man after God's own heart. He was a man after God's own heart and anointed as king as a child. Job patiently waited on the Lord. He waited until he revealed himself and publicly justified Job to the world. Paul, his name was changed from Saul and became one of the greatest men in the Bible. He established many churches, trained young preachers, and wrote much of the New Testament. Gideon, he called 32,000 soldiers to war. But God said, that's too many. God selected a few, only 300 soldiers to fight a battle. I know the plan I have. My will I have for you. When Moses was chosen, God's plan was for him to be a deliverer of his people. But the preparation was not easy, nor was it quick. He had to grow up in Pharaoh's house, get a Ph.D. in the Egyptian's law with wilderness experience. He had to run for his life in order to save other lives. Hallelujah. Elijah was chosen to be a prophet, but he had to, to go through some stuff. Hallelujah. He had to face 400 prophets of Baal. And he had to face them alone. 
but the fire from heaven let everybody in him know that he wasn't alone. I tell folks so often now, you might see me walking and think I'm alone, but don't get it twisted. I'm not by myself. You might not be able to see my help, but mess with me if you want to. Because I hear the psalmist said that grace and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Elisha, another one chosen by God, he went through being called bald head by disrespectful children. The children were cursed and 42 of them were mauled by two female bears. Just for ridicule and mocking man of God. Be careful what you say about the man of God. They didn't physically touch him, but their words touched God. Hallelujah. Be careful what you say about the men of God. Daniel, Daniel was born to be a prophet, another one chosen by God. He showed the people that even when your friends can't help you, God is more than the world against you. King Darius was David's friend, and because of the decree that he had put in place, he had Daniel thrown in the lion's den. With friends like that who needs enemies. But because of the decree that was in place, he didn't want to lose his throne. Somebody shout, but God. Hallelujah. John the Baptist, born to be the forerunner of Jesus, he prepared the way for Jesus. He was one crying in the wilderness. Judas Iscariot, Peter. Andrew, James, John, Simon, Bartholomew, yes. Matthew, Thomas, Philip, James, and Nathaniel were all chosen by Jesus to be disciples. I'm talking about those that are chosen. So before Mary was even born, the mother of Jesus, that is, God placed in her spirit to stay a virtue. To be a virgin until she was married. So how did God's plan affect Jesus' life? Well, in his human life, Jesus suffered in all kinds of ways. Not just suffered by temptation as well. Hebrews 2 and 18 lets us know, For and that he, talking about Jesus himself, has suffered being tempted. He is able to secure them that are tempted. He's able to do it. Why? Because he's been there, done that. Whatever you're going through, just know somebody else has been through it. That's why the Bible lets us know that there's nothing new under the heavens. Nothing new under the sun. You can think that just because we're in a more modern day and age that it didn't happen back then. Well, it did. It happened already. Hebrews 4 and 15 lets us know, for we have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Folks say you can't live holy. Say you can't live right. But Jesus did it. My mother used to always say, what more? Can Jesus do? He laid the foundation. He opened up the way. What more can he do? That means that he showed us that it can be done. You just got to have the willingness about you to turn your will over to his will. If you allow him to lead you, he'll guide you from earth to glory. Hallelujah. God has a plan for his son. Expect it in to wipe away the sins of the world. Jesus Christ became flesh and blood through the incarnation, which made it possible for him to die for us. He had to die for us. There had to be some bloodshed. 
in his perfect and sinless life, he could redeem us by dying on an old rugged cross. It was only because of God's plan that Christ died and we are saved. Hallelujah. Jesus came and he bled and he died and placed in a tomb, in a borrowed tomb at that. I don't know if I want to borrow anybody else's tomb. I was talking with my son once, my oldest son, and we was talking about Elisha and how Elisha had a double portion. He requested a double portion of what Elijah had. And Elijah said, you ask a hard thing, but if you see me when I'm taken up, if you see me when I'm taken up, do you see me now? If you see me when I'm taken up, you shall have what you ask for. So I, 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 you all know the story, but when Elijah was crossing Jordan, he, he, he spread it, well, he said it, and, and, and the Jordan opened. And then it closed back after they went cross. But when uh, Elijah was taken up, and Elisha got the mantle, came back to that same Jordan River, and it opened up again, and it crossed back. Now, what happened now? That means that Elisha has to do double what Elijah did. Y'all know the story, but through his life, he did some miraculous things through the power of God. So what am I saying? Even in his death, he wasn't through doing miracles. They said when he died, they put him in a grave with a man that was already buried. And my son told me, he said, Pops, he said, that man said, it just ain't enough room for both of us because he got up. Elijah's body touched the bones of a dead man. And the dead man got up. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. I like what John saw. John saw something with his spiritual eyes. John 21 through 8. I don't have time to read it all, so read it at your leisure. But most people don't speak about the clothes that you're buried in. John 20 and 7, not needing as Lazarus did, didn't need to be loosed from his grave clothes. Talking about Jesus when he was risen from the dead or raised from the dead. He didn't need to be loosed from his clothes when Jesus called Lazarus forth. He came forth and then he told him, say what? Loose him and let him go. That means that he was wrapped with his grave clothes on. The stone was already rolled away. Not to let him out. But to let the disciples see that he was risen. John came to see Jesus' burial clothes as a symbol of triumphant over victory. Triumphant over tragedy. Triumphant over life over death. John could see with his spiritual eye that there's more now to the death of Christ than meets the eye. On that first Easter Sunday morning, God took Jesus' clothes of death and made them a symbol of life. John realized the empty tomb and of the garments that was laid neatly set aside signifies all which Jesus had said from the very start was indeed true. His death wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Folks don't seem to understand how death can be the beginning. Hallelujah. I looked at my mother suffering for a long time while she was laying on her bed sick. My father went through some suffering. And out of selfishness, I didn't want them to go. Hallelujah. But I came to grips with it that God knew best. We was praying that they be healed. But don't you know that the healing came on the other side? Hallelujah. 
the healing came now. They're praising God. They're glorifying God. There's no more sickness. There are no more pains. There, there's no more crying. There, there's no more death. Hallelujah. It's always howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. So his death wasn't the end, but it was the beginning, and it was the beginning of life transforming power. It was the beginning of a new life. What John saw and understood, well, in other words, let me tell you like this, and I'm closing. What John understood was this. It was a custom in those days that when one rose from the table, they took the napkin and they would just throw it down. If they throw it down like that, that means I'm through, I'm finished, I'm not coming back. But if they took the napkin, they folded it neatly and laid it to the side of the plate. That means that I'm not through with my meal. I'm coming back. So when they went into the tomb and they found Jesus' napkin, his grave clothes folded neatly and laying to the side, it signified that I'm not done yet, that I'm coming back again. And when I come back, I'm coming back for a church without a spot, without a blemish, without a wrinkle. I'm coming back again. Jesus said it, that I'm coming back. And you've got to be ready. Be ready when it comes. Because if you're not ready, you'll be left undone. Whatever state that you're in when he come back, be that way still. It's too late when he come back. Now is the dressing up time. Now is the getting ready time. You got to get ready now. He hadn't come back yet, but he's coming. He's coming on a cloud, and every eye shall see him. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Don't wait to be made to confess. Don't wait to be bowed down or made to bow. But every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. We're resting on our feet. Amen. Hallelujah. God has a plan for your life. He's got a plan for you. And all you've got to do is accept his plan. His way is better than your way. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You've got to let God do it. He knows best. He knows what lies ahead. You might be able to see to the door, but he knows what's beyond the door. There could be danger awaiting on the other side. God knows and he will reveal. But all you got to do is trust God. The songwriter posed a song and said, I don't know about tomorrow. I, talking about yourself now, I just live from day to day. Why is that? Because my trust is in God. Because he knows what tomorrow holds. Trust God. Trust his plan. Trust the process. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once again, Lord, thanking you for your sent word. Thank you, Lord, for the plan that you have for our lives. God, help us to turn our wheels over to your will and allow you to have your way in us. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for being God. You're the God of God. You're the Lord of Lords. And we praise you now. There's none like you in all the earth. And we glorify you. We magnify you now. God, be to us what no one else can be. In our lonely hours, if we need your comforting, God, be a comfort to us. Those that have lost loved ones, God, comfort like only you can do. In the name of Jesus. And God, we want to say thank you for bringing us over the highways and bringing us to this place. God, thank you for this ministry here. 
God, I pray now that you undergird the pastor here in the name of Jesus. Continue, God, to give him wisdom and the way to lead and guide your people. His endeavor that he has to expand. God, do it now. We know that you're able to do it. There's nothing too hard for you. And we praise you now. We magnify you. We give you glory. God, his wife, God, continue to strengthen her. Touch her, dear God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the ailments may be, God, you know. Regulate the unregulated. Do it for your glory. And we'll give you praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Somebody just lift your hand and say, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on now. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I love you more than anything. More than my house, more than my car. Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Can we just worship for a little bit? Oh, I love you, Jesus. Because I worship and adore you. Just want tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. More than anything. Oh, 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 I love you, Jesus. Cause I worship you, Lord, and I adore you, yes. Just want to lift my hands and tell Lord, I love you more than anything. More than anything. Oh, more than anything. More than I love anything. you, Jesus. Just want to worship and adore you. Just want to lift my voice and tell you. Lord, I love you. More than anything. Now lift your hands and say more than anything. Come on now, the depths of your soul say more than anything. More than anything. If he heal your body more than anything. If he paid your bill more than anything. More than anything. More than anything. You ought to lift your head back and just have a flashback and say, Lord, I thank you. You've been gooder than gooder. You've been better than better. More than anything. Oh, my. Lord, I love you more than anything, Lord. Lord, I love you more than anything. Yeah. Now lift your hand Hallelujah. and say, God, I thank you for what you have done. Come on now, say it out of the depths of your soul. Say, Lord, I thank you for what you have done. If he done anything, open your mouth and praise him a little bit. I know it's time for offering, but open up your mouth. And say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I know his offering, 
but there's no amount of money we can pay for the goodness of God. I talked this morning from the widow woman that gave her last bit. The Bible said it wasn't the amount of money that she gave, but it was her heart. Look at somebody and say, what's in your heart? It's what's in your heart. Do praise come out of your heart? So thank you, Jesus, in your heart. Somebody ought to lift your hand and say, what's in your heart? Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I magnify you. You ought to open up your mouth. Uh, 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 touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but God been too good. <laughs> Let's get ready for our offer. I'm my shot Don't play with it. If you're going to do it, we're going to do it. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, can I just have two minutes to show my God how good he been to me? Now clap your hands and praise your God. Say, Lord, I love you. Y'all drive it where y'all let. Don't switch on me. Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. Come on, y'all wait for me to give y'all word. Open up your mouth. Come on now, if he been good to you, open up your mouth. Y'all trying to push servant, but the Lord is here, whatever you need. Let's, let's get our offering. Y'all waiting on no track. Y'all waiting on some music. But if God been good to your shout should be in your feet. A clap should be in your hand. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Don't wait till your miracle comes. Shout now. Don't wait till you turn it over. Shout! at your neighbor and say, I'm sorry. I just had to get that on out. Let's get ready for our... <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you sitting there, but I really got to pray because God just been that good to me. Can I tell y'all a testimony real quick? I ain't going to pump and pry you. But he had greater God been good to us. We in the middle of a building project. Uh, Y'all didn't come with Pastor last time he came. But our land over here where we're going to start building, we was going to buy the land in front of us. But they wanted too much money. But I told the church, if the Lord don't bless us one way, He's going to bless us 
another way. Somebody say another way. The man used our yard to clean off their yard. My deacon called me, said, the man that got the trap to look for you. I said, what he looking for me for? I came down here sleeping in tired, coming from Greenville. He said, how can I help the church? I said, well, we need this spot over here clean. He said, I want to do it right here. I said, no, I want it all cleaned off. He said, you sure? I said, I want it all cleaned off. Man not only pushed the tree down, but he got them from the roof. Anybody know anything about that? That probably cost us, what, about $50,000, $60,000 or more? But guess what? Somebody say the word free. Yeah. He cleaned it for free. Look at somebody say, you in the house of miracles. Whatever you need. You need to praise God for your miracle. I thought I was in a sanctified church. Whatever you need. Somebody say miracle number one. Can I tell them miracle number two? Miracle number two, we supposed to have a daycare in the, in the building to ease the pain going on in our community. The Lord fished it. I was sick. The man that got a daycare called me. He said, I, I, I want to help you. I said, okay. He said, hey, the state of Mississippi got a program. I said, okay. He sent me the paperwork the night before the deadline. I get the class. They tell me 100 people was on waiting list last year that couldn't get in. They rotated to this year. 80 people was on the waiting list for this year. But we signed the paper at the, somebody say at midnight. I get an email. You accepted in the class. Look at somebody and say miracle. Every time I turn around, miracle. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, God did it for them. What can he do for you? They ain't opened their mouth yet. Look at another neighbor and say, that neighbor didn't receive it. If God did it for them, what can he do for you? Let's get our seed. Let's get our seed. I ask you to look at another neighbor and say, neighbor, miracles is all around, man. When I came here, they don't like me to tell this story, but when I came here, no money in the bank. Church divided four different ways. Not only that, the lights was dimming me here. The sound system went out. But look at God. When they stole our cameras, when they stole the sound system, we got better than what we had. Look at somebody and say, miracles around me. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in your house, but here at Greater, we got miracles around us. Yeah. Let's plant our seed. Let's play. I'm sorry. Hey, look at somebody again. Say miracles around me. I ask you. Let me leave that alone. I feel a shout in my feet. But if you know what I knew, if you knew what I knew, you would be dancing too. I hear the cliche. But every time I turn around, greater is getting blesser and blesser. Peace is coming to greater. Y'all indulge us. We got something we do. Somebody look at the MPP and say, members are coming. We don't know where they're coming from, but members are coming. Let's get our seed. Don't do me like that. If 
y'all gonna have church, let's have church. I can wait on the money. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if I shout for your miracle, will you shout for my miracle? Say, let's praise him. Get our seed. Don't stop dancing. Let's get our seed in our hand. I ask you to plant a $25 seed. Greater know what we are asking. We're asking for $100 seed. If y'all want to join us with the $100 seed, you can. Pastor already gave his $150. Elder Gillespie sent his $50. Uh, I ain't seen nobody else. Sister Linda sent her $100. God bless you, Sister Linda. That's our member in Georgia. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to get your seed. And when you bring your seed, I want you to touch the, the pan. And whatever you need, whatever personal need you have, say, God, I thank you for making it happen. Y'all heard me? When you touch the pan, Henry, don't take me down. If you're going to take me there, take me there. When you touch the pan, I want you to say, God, I thank you for making it happen. Then the Father, we thank you for the seed that you are giving. God, we thank you for the increase. God, we thank you for the ability to give. God, we thank you for how you're going to bless this seed. God, we thank you for increase coming. We thank you for miracles, God. We thank you for breakthrough, oh God. We expect a blessing, oh God. As we plant this seed, we are looking for this seed to bring increase into our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hold up your seed and say, this is my seed. I plant in the ministry, expecting a mighty harvest. Now bring your seed and touch the pan and say, miracles are coming. Water your seed with a hand clap. Miracles are coming. Y'all don't let us shout by ourselves. We don't let people shout by themselves. We got time to wait. Take it home. Take it home. As you go to your seat, say miracles are coming.
Jefferson told us you a walking miracle. That's what you told us Friday. So if I'm touching a walking miracle, that means miracle coming to me. I build a Jefferson. We gonna have last words and introduction by Elder. I mean last words and closer by Elder Greenwood. We thank Elder Greenwood for coming to greater. But y'all, y'all see us now. We lean to one side, but when y'all come back again, we'll let y'all take a lap in our new building. Because we believe miracles are coming. Neighbor and say, neighbor, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it. Praise be to God. We just thank God. We're all going to hold you. We just thank God. Certainly thank God for this great uh, pastor here, the Elder Greenwood. Uh, certainly thank God for him. Not only did he did men and women, but he did Easter service also. So it was great, great message, great message. I thank God for that great sermon that he gave on today. And we thank God, amen, for him. Thank God for his father. His father and I was very close. And uh, praise the Lord. He gave me my first revival. Oh, wow. Years ago, years ago. Praise the Lord. We're in the, we're in the pastor right now about 43 years. And God brought us a long way. Uh, back in the day, we were looking like we are here now for miracles. God bless us, the miracle with two churches, and we did it. And I was always uh, blessed uh, to uh, hear from Elder Greenwood. He would always uh, recognize me as a young man that did some things. But I certainly appreciate him and thank God for this uh, church that uh, the son is carrying on and it is growing and look like God is doing some great things. We thank you, praise God. We just glorify God. Thank God for this great pastor and uh, being young and energetic about doing what he's doing. The doors are open for the blessing of the Lord. Come in, come in. Somebody hit me and say, come in, come in, come in. Praise the Lord. The doors are open. God has great blessing for us in this day and time for greater far greater blessing than we were years ago. And so this is the time for us to praise God and lift him up. Uh, we thank God, amen. We have Pentecost yet going on. We yet have Pentecost. Pentecost starts on May 22nd. Y'all write that down, write that down, Philadelphia, write it down, write it down, Philadelphia, write it down. Uh, the 22nd of May through the 31st uh, of May. The last 10 days of uh, May is Pentecost. 10 days, 10 nights of service, 6 p.m. Uh, to 7 p.m. We're teaching and preaching, and at 7 p.m. we're pre praising God and worshiping God. And so we need some help. We need some help. We need to, uh, we hope we can get Brother Greenwood to come back. Hope we can get old Larry Lewis here. Praise the Lord. And his wife, amen. Y'all try to be there. Try to be there. We... Uh, just giving you that date. We hope we can give you a call and see if you can come one night. So we have 10 nights, so it'll be a night enough for you somewhere. Praise the Lord. Can we say amen? We're looking for the Lord to bless us. Praise God. And we're certainly grateful to, for, for you being here. Praise the Lord. I thought I was going to be a little late, but I wasn't because I was here for the word. Praise God. Say amen for this great preacher, the Elder Samson Greenwood. Say amen. I forgot, but I want to invite y'all to revival. Somebody say revival. After Easter, we will have revival. My auntie, Mother Lee Van Zet, which is Koja World Mission Super uh, Elect Lady, she will be here running revival for three nights, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We start on time, and we get you out of here on time. 
So we'll start here promptly at 730. If you be a little bit late, you'll get here when she gets to preach, okay? But we tell a friend, tell a neighbor, revival is going on at greater. Amen. We're standing. Thank God, amen, again for the invitation to come and be with you. I tell you, I enjoyed it because I found out that the Bible is right no matter what and somebody is wrong. The Bible lets us know that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. And I felt the freedom here when I came. Amen. God bless you all. Our Father in heaven, once again, we come before you thanking you, God, for this time of gathering. We thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're going to do as we leave this place, but never from your presence. Lord, I pray that you bring us back at the appointed time. Take us to our different destinations, the highway demons. We rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. And God, we praise you, we magnify you, we lift you up in the mighty master's name of Jesus. As the the saints of old used to say, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. You're going to need him on your way. God bless you in the strength of the Lord.